So first you're going to need two of these types of candle holders and also two of these handle holders. So you can go ahead and cut your stick off with your tag off. Then you're going to need some um, E6000 and I'm going to get it Okay. And so here go my E6000. Alright. You want to take and put some E6000 around the rim of the tall candle holder. Both of them. And you want to let this dry for 24 hours before doing anything else with it. for doing anything else with it and remember to take the tags off the back of your candle holder so I'm gonna go ahead and try to put this on as straight as I can now okay Sorry, my phone was going off. So, now, um, I go in here and glue that one on. Now, after you get it on how you want, you want to take and flip it. Because the E6000, it does move and it takes a while to, um, sit before it actually, actually completely dry. So, you want to go ahead and just make sure you got it to where you want it. Like I said straighten it then flip it that's okay it still can go back down I'm gonna flip it again to make sure it I can see the glue spots of where it was sticking so I'm gonna just straighten it out then check it out a little bit then I'm just gonna take it and flip it Set it to the side, and I'm going to do the same to the other one. And I'm going to flip it. And I'm going to let these dry for a, a day. And um, then we're going to go ahead and paint them. Okay, so with the second one, I changed my mind and decided to... It hasn't dried yet. It hasn't dried yet. You can see the glue is still right there. It hasn't dried. So I decided to take this one and flip it. Add some more glue. Just to make it a little taller than my first one. So I'm going to add more glue. Put this one here like this. And then add this one like this. And so it would be this one, then my other one to sit a little ways, a little lower than the other one. I say a little ways, a little lower than the other one. And I'm just going to put some glue on here. Go ahead and flip it and I'm going to see, I'm going to sit down and now I'm going to see and make sure it's even. I'm just going to rub my glue around some, so I'm going to be, now it's dripping over here. So, there you are. Once it dry, I'm gonna give you a better view of how it looks once it dry, so you can get a better view of what it looks like. And I'm debating on whether or not I'm gonna paint this, leave it clear, or spray paint it. So once it dries, which is gonna take a 24 hours, then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do.
So there you are. Okay, so I went ahead and I paint, I spray painted my um, candle holders um, three times. I spray painted them three times from top to bottom and everything. And um, then I painted it three times with chalk paint. After I painted it three times with chalk paint, um, I let it dry in between. Um, and it's the same paint I used on in my other video I just made um, with the mailbox, a mail holder and a key holder. Then I did this effect on here to make it if you can see that I'm gonna show you how I did this I planned on recording when I was painting but I was you know I was so into my show that I forgot to record now I'm gonna show you how to do the top if you can see the difference in these two so I'm gonna show you how to do the top of those for to get this effect on it I used a dab of paint a dab of foam brush a dabbing brush Whereas when you paint, you just do like this, you dab instead of doing strokes of paint. So, I'm going to show you how I did the top. This is basically how I did it. I did all around the sides and everything. Don't need a lot of paint. Well, a lot of this paint anyway because you know a little can last a long on lot on a brush and so far that's what I'm wait a minute that's how it's wait a minute looking I hope you can see that and I'm just dabbing And I just dabbed all around and I did this to both of them all the way around except for the top so I can demonstrate to you how I did it well except for the top of this one and I just did it all the way around on the sides And the reason for me painting it after I spray painted it, just to give it, make it, make the white stand out even more on it. That's the only way I really can explain it. But it makes the white stand out more on it. I think it makes it look better when you, if you spray paint some stuff and then use chalk paint to go over top of it. So, that's it. That's how it looks. And so those are my candle holders. And I'm going to show you how they look from another view. But pretty much that's it. And after you do this, you let it dry. This one is dry. You want to go ahead and give it a coat of my Paz. You can use matte. You can use the glossy. You can use the um, vintage one. It does not matter. It's up to you. And that's how you do that. So here's my candle stands. I went ahead and put some um, Mod Podge on them. And um, this is how they look. Give you a little better view of them. And so I went ahead and just put some of this, um, these little beaded pearls around it. And I put them around the side of it. Um, I hope you can see that and so I went ahead and like I said put some pearls around the top and I put them around the side so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same to this I already put my pies on here and um, on both of them like I said I spray painted them three times and I like I said I spray painted them three times and then I um, painted them um, three times with this paint So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I put the um, pearls around the side 
and on the top. So I took some E6000. So I'm gonna take some E6000. And what I'm gonna do is put it around the top of here and lay my pearls and put them around the side. So when I put them around the side, I had to use some duct tape because just to hold them in place until they, until they um, set. And then once they sit, you can take them off until they completely dry. So I'm going to go ahead and put some E6000 around the sides of here. You don't have to put a lot. Sometimes I use my finger just to rub it in. And now I'm going to take my pearls and I'm going to get my duct tape. Painter's tape, I mean, I'm sorry, painter's tape because the duct tape pulled it up. I'm sorry. Painter's tape and you want to just lay these around. And like I said, they are going to come up. So you have to put the painter's tape around it. Once you cut the other bead. scissors and I'm going to snip I have to snip one more off and it's on there and now I'm happy to use some tape to hold it in place until it it sits some. And the tape is just going to hold it, like I said. So it sticks. I did this so easy off camera to my other one versus now. And so the tape is holding and now you want to put some E6000 around the top of your candle holder. And you're going to take your pearls and place them around the top. So I'm going to place them around the top. Make sure you have enough E6000 so they won't come up. Now I'm going to cut. My pearls is in place. See, so you just want to push them until they sit because they come up a teeny bit. And I just kept checking mine and pushing them back in the spot where it belongs. And that's it. Okay, so first you want to go to over here where your cricket, I mean, mm, where your Google images are. You want to hit on your photos. You want to collect. Um, click on a photo that photo you want. You want to right click, save image, save it, but I already saved this image. So this is one of the images that's going to be on my candle. You want to do the same to however many images that you do. Then I'm going to click on my Cricut Design Space, which is already open. It normally sits down here in the corner, right here. So I'm going to go to, I went to new, now I'm going to go to upload. Now I'm going to go to upload image, I'm going to click the browser. And I'm going to find the image that I want to make, put on my candle, place on my candle. Here's the image. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to open the image. I'm going to click on complex and hit continue. So now, this is actually my first time using the crop button. I have never even paid it any attention. I never. But I'm going to crop this image to where I want it. 
which is right there. I know the top is cut off a bit, but I'm fine with that. It's my candle. Continue. This is a candle I'm making for myself. If it was somebody else, I probably would try to tell them, give me an image that's not half halfway that the person has cut off, but this is mine. So now I'm not gonna save as a um print and cut. Save as a print and cut. Anytime you're doing a candle. Then I'm going to save it. Got my computer load. Then there's my image. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to push insert. Now, um, every image for a print and cut is supposed to be 9.25 by 6.75. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to unlock this little lock. I'm going to erase that. And I'm going to hit my width 9.25. My length, well on here it says height, is 6.75. And my computer is acting slow, of course, because I want to record. Now, that's the length of a print and cut. But since I'm doing it on a candle, I'm going to make it a little smaller. Now, depending on what size candle you got, you will be able to tell, like, more so in person. I can't really tell you. How big, I don't know what size candle you're doing. So this is gonna be the size I'm gonna do for my candle. Maybe a little smaller, a lot smaller. So this is about the size I'm gonna do for my candle. And that's how you do it. And then you're gonna just send it, make it like you regularly would. And I'm gonna show you how to place this. And you want, make sure your mirror is off. Make sure when you click on your print. Well, I'm sorry, continue. Send to printer. Make sure your bleed is off. You don't need to bleed your photo at all. And this is my printer. I have an HP NV5530. And I'm going to send it to the printer. I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to show you how to put your tissue paper onto your printer paper to print out your image. So, I'm going to show you how to place your tissue paper on your printer paper. So, normally what I do is I take a bunch of printer paper out don't have to just something I do you're gonna cut this down the side you should know about how much you need I don't measure this at all I just cut I don't even cut it the same size as the um, printer paper I just cut it sometimes I cut a little bit bigger this is the first one I did <clears throat> and you can take some take some scotch tape some masking tape I'm gonna use some of this masking tape and I'm going to, depending on how you print a made, you don't want to put the tape up too far and it be on your image. But you just want to do it where so it's holding the paper down when it goes to the printer. So I'm just going to put some tape on the sides. It does not have to be neat. Just make sure you rub your tissue paper out. Try to get all the wrinkles, as, much, as many wrinkles out as you can. So just like that. And... I'm going to send both of these through my printer. That's it. So, these are the candles I got. They came in a set of three from AC Moore in a package like this. They're by um, um, Nicole's. And I'm going to show you how I did this. And they have a timer on it. You got on, off, and timer. So, you can set a time on these. And I'll show you what they look like like lit, lit, litting up um, once I do this so you want to cut your photo you want to cut the um, the lines around lines around it that the Cricut Design Space makes and you can cut it out with scissors you don't want to send this through the Cricut machine I mean you can if you want but I haven't tried that yet so I'm just gonna lay my photo on here then I'm gonna turn this on lay this down get my photo on here straight A piece of parchment paper. I got my parchment paper from the Dollar Tree. And you want to hold it around your candle tight. And just check your image and make sure it's straight. And now, 
rip it tight like that. Now I'm going to melt, start to melt the um, candle onto here. By this being a, a lid like candle, it's not full wax candle. You don't want to leave it on the candle too long. Just enough to melt it and you want to move on to another area of the candle. Make sure your parchment paper is holding the candle down. I mean a photo down. That should be it. And you want to go ahead and pour your And if there's any wax that built up in one spot from you, see? And that's how it looks. As easy as that. And you can wipe around it to get some of that extra wax off. And that's how it looks. And then I'm going to show you with the light off. Let me turn my light off. And I'm going to light it up for you. And there you are really pretty my um, camera light is phone light is hidden the candle looks weird but um and it's on there really good and so that's how you do your candle